Hello and welcome back to the Variety of Pride 639 channel, or if you are new here, welcome to the channel. Our video today, we are going to be taking a first look into the early access gameplay of an up-and-coming game from 1C Game Studios uh, called Deathless Tales of Old Rust, which is a Slavic folklore-inspired roguelite card battler set in the world of Belosvet, where you take control of one of four heroes. You get to build and improve your card deck, battle monsters, and obtain powerful relics as you journey to save your homeland from Koshe the Deathless. Before we jump in though, don't forget to click like on the video, and if you're new here, make sure you click on that subscribe button as well, uh, and help grow this channel some more. So, let's go ahead and take a look at some gameplay now. Early access began on June 18th with the hero Varvara. July and September's character updates will release the second hero, Vasilisa, and a third hero yet to be named. August and October will highlight major content patches which will include some new foes, new events, a bestiary, and of course bug fixes and card balancing. The full game release is targeted for the fourth quarter of 2024. The game is currently available for purchase on Steam, although achievements are not currently attainable yet. This will grant you early access to the game and has a couple of add-ons which will give you access to an art book as well as the full soundtrack to the game and early reviews are currently showing up as mostly positive. Deathless's gameplay draws a lot of inspirations from other games such as Slay the Spire, Gordian Quest, and even some Darkest Dungeon. The artwork has been carefully and passionately redesigned by artist and author Roman Papsuev, who received the Best Artist of Europe award back in 2008. The music you're currently hearing in the background was composed by Dmitry Silentiev, who is also known for his work on the Pathfinder games and Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader. Much like Slay the Spire, combat takes place with your hero staring down hordes of monsters. Each turn you start out with a base 3 action points or AP, which can be increased or decreased with various cards, relics, curses, and debuffs. Each card has an AP cost, which can also be modified in various ways. But once you run out of AP or cards to play, you end your turn and the monsters get their turn. You can see what each monster is going to do with the symbols over their heads. This is called their intentions. Similar to Darkest Dungeon, by default you can only attack the monster in front of you unless the card you play states otherwise. And when you reduce a monster's HP to zero, there are corpses left behind on the battlefield which will eventually wither away. Something new to this genre of game, however, is if you, the hero, get reduced to zero HP, you're given the option to retry the last battle, or just simply give up and start a new run. Maybe you misplayed a sequence and you don't want to have to start the run all over again, or maybe if you'd have thought differently on which order to play some of your cards, you'd have won the fight. This gives you a second chance at glory and saving your homeland from certain destruction.
Thank you for tuning in to another video. I really hope that you enjoyed what you saw. Uh, first off, I'd like to give a big thank you and a shout out to Courtney Mueller uh, with uh, Evolve PR for granting me a key so that way I could bring this review for, uh, for you all here today. Uh, if you are a content creator and you would like to do some game reviews, uh, make sure that you check out Evolve PR and sign up with their Terminals.io service uh, to get a chance to review uh, new and upcoming games just like this one. Uh, I'll leave a link to their website down below in the description. Um, I really enjoyed what this game had to offer, uh, being a big, big fan of uh, card builders and, and roguelites. Uh, the game played very, very smoothly, the art looks absolutely stunning, uh, and the music throughout the game was absolutely epic. Uh, the game is also, it's, it's quite simple to learn, um, though I do think the game could still benefit from having a tutorial mode uh, to really give the new players uh, a chance to understand some of the more advanced uh, game mechanics, some, uh, you know, from like buffs and debuffs and kind of what they really, really do. Um, I also think the game could benefit uh, from a few visual improvements on buffs and debuffs, uh, make them a bit easier to see, a little bit easier to read and understand, uh, so that way there's less confusion, uh, confusion during uh, some of the combats uh, and fights, uh, especially during boss battles too. Uh, but overall, card balancing seems uh, pretty fair for the most part. Uh, it feels very, very well paced for starters, um, and it actually the pacing can actually be sped up uh, in the game settings, uh, which I believe was a point of contention uh, a little bit, a little while ago, uh, before they addressed that. Um, there's a lot to enjoy with this game. Um, even with a few things that I think, uh, that could make the game look and feel a little bit better, uh, I believe one Game Game Studios really has something special here, uh, with Deathless. Um, and I think it's, it, it'll be, it'll be a, a, a great game to scratch that itch, especially for Slay the Spire and Darkest Dungeon fans. Uh, but if you've made it this far into the video, I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel, make sure you drop a like on the video, uh, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of the game, uh, or, you know, if this is something that's, uh, that's something that you're going to be able to buy and play and enjoy. Uh, but other than that, thank you all very, very much for tuning in to another video, and until next time, take care.